<laughs> Hi, Rudy. Hi. How are you? Nah. Yeah? Yeah. Well, this is a very beautiful club lounge you're in with family. Yeah. Hi, yeah. family. Hi. You are nice and dry. I am dry. I've showered. Showered, dried, got all the mud off. Got all the mud off. You warmed up. Swam in an Iron Man today. I did. Tell us about it. Well, I didn't finish. I was pulled um, like 200 yards from finishing the, the swim portion. Why were you pulled? What does that mean? Uh, I missed. I missed the time cutoff. Um, we had an hour and 10 minutes to to uh, complete it, and uh, an hour and 10 minutes. Uh, after the last swimmer got into the water, I, that's when they cut the time off. And I was like 200 yards from um, shore before my time ran out. And when they pull you from the water, you're just not allowed to finish the Cancel. other... It's a DNF, which is did not finish. Did not finish. And so tell me about like your whole morning. Was it... So morning was interesting. <laughs> Woke up at 3 o'clock this morning um, to... The pitter patter of rain on the window. Pitter patter. That was down fall. <laughs> that was more than pitter patter. That was a storm hit the windows. Uh, <laughs> monsoon. They, monsoon. It, uh, and then they actually were worried about total cancel of the swim because of lightning in the area, um, and they, they they delayed the race by thirty minutes. Um, and yesterday it was beautiful, like what 80, 85, something yeah. like that, right? Yeah. Um, humidity was up there, but no at wind. 85, it was perfect out compared to what I'm used to. And then this morning, it was like 60. It was absolutely yeah, gorgeous it yesterday. 50s. It's in the 50s. It in the fi oh, it's, it's in, in the, the 50s. 50s. Oh, it's in the 50s. Okay. And you have it monsoon. Windy as hell. Yeah. Um, so you walk there in the rain. So, so then you're the soaking rain. wet already yeah. in 50 degree weather. Yeah. I How cold my, were you? I put like, my wetsuit on just to try and stay warm, but I was shivering. If you see my, my previous live video, that's not me, like, the phone shaking from me walking. It's sh shivering. shivering. I'm like, okay. Shivering. So then, so the, the race was delayed a half hour, but then yeah. you're standing there waiting to get in the warmer water yeah. for, like, so another I found, hour. I found some heat. There was a, one oh. of those big old stadium lights, and their generator... They're, they're powered by a generator, so I was standing in the exhaust of the generator. I didn't mind the carbon monoxide because I got <laughs> some heat. Uh, I was so damn cold. How, how do you think the cold weather, the downpour of the rain, the cold weather in the 50s affected your swim? Oh, big time. Uh, like, my, I'm not used to cold weather. I train in heat, and so my body's just not used to it, and uh, I uh, it sucked. I'll put it that way. Like my legs were already cramping just before I even uh, before I got in the water. My legs were cramping because they were so cold. And I was okay. So, much. so you finally get in the water, and it's warmer. It's like seventy degree wet, uh, warmth. But tell me about the condition of the water. Oh, that was fun. I uh, <laughs> uh, I swam in the ocean before, and I've kayaked in the ocean before, and I would not take my kayak. In this kind of water. okay. So speaking of that, let's go to cousin Jackie. <laughs> what did you hear about those water conditions? Water conditions were terrible. <laughs> um, the water actually, I mean, it had white caps. And <laughs> um, me, being an avid fisherman, hunter, everything, would not even take my boat out in those conditions. As well as many fishermen around that are out on this lake constantly said that they would not even take their boats out. Period. Yeah, we heard that quite a bit today, yes. right? There's no way they would have even taken no. boats out. But. And here we have human beings trying to, you know, swim in these conditions. Yeah. <laughs> crazy. Crazy. Uh, fish? <laughs> I think I swallowed a few. <laughs> there was three foot whales, like the swell, swell, swell whatever. Swell. Yes, there was three foot swells with white caps. And the, the biggest thing was it, was, it was just so dang disorienting. Because, like, I was trying to time my breaths at the bottom of the swell so that when I come up like or I was trying to time my breaths to where I was at the top of the swell uh, taking, it. taking it in so that I can actually see where I'm at but they were coming in so quick that like I didn't I could I didn't have time this way or that way and I every time a lot of the times when I looked up 
to figure out where I was and like which way the buoy and which way I'm pointing because there was one point where I, I, I stopped to pee and I had to hang out in my kayak <laughs> um, and then I took off and I'm like okay I got to get my momentum going I'm going I'm going and all of a sudden they're like hey hey and they're whistling at me because I like buoys over here and I'm swimming this way and um uh, and I didn't realize it. And I was still looking up. I just saw trees. Okay, I'm swimming towards the trees. And uh, I should have swam just to the open sky because that's all I saw. It was just, I couldn't see the buoys. I couldn't see the kayaks. I couldn't see other swimmers. I couldn't see the, the buildings and all that. And it just, Every single time you look up, too, it's downpouring rain. Well, so it wasn't really raining. It wasn't, it wasn't really raining by the time I started. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But the wind had come up. Well. Yeah, the wind. Yeah. The wind was kicking me. Um, I choked a few times. Not, not, not. I mean, I, yeah, I didn't time my breathing yeah. right a few times, and I swallowed a couple gallons of water. Probably <laughs> that's why I had to pee so many times. <laughs> Jeez, um, doubt it. So, um, what's your plan for today? Go get pizza. I've been craving pizza for the past two days. And your Facebook Live should know that because you've talked about it six times since <laughs> you've been here. So we're going to go to a famous pizza place in downtown Madison yeah. and um, then just do whatever you want to do. Uh, there has been quite a few people asking or assuming that you're going to probably want to get on your bike today. Is this true? No. No. Uh, you know, so... Jackie, it's wet outside, Jackie y'all. Was, it's yeah, flooded. It's, it's, it's very wet. And cold. Um, and yeah, I'm, Freaking I'm cold. done with this cold right now. Like, I wish I brought a jacket. Um, but Jackie on the way over here had a, had a good point, uh, had a good point that, you know, things happen for a reason and, you know, part of my, my new lifestyle is it is what it is and, you know, it's in God's hands, right? And so, um, if I got on the bike, what could have happened, right? I mean, the roads are soaked. Um, there's a lot of downhills that end in, in, a, in a T intersection with sharp turns. There's a lot of uphills right after a turn. So what could have happened while I'm on the ride? Because I've been on rides where I've almost wrecked out because of water. I've been on rides where I've seen people wreck out because of water. Um, and the and, amount of caution they were giving yeah, everyone this yeah, morning. Yeah, they were talking about Well, the about officials were breaks, talking watch about... Watch your breaks, watch your breaks. How they could out. get rid of some of those sharp turns this yeah. morning, like at the they swim. Were, oh, really? They were, they were. Well, the officials that were standing around mm -hmm. the route, the route officials were like, "Well, what do we Even do about that? How do we slow them down? How do we?" Yeah, it was. They were That's really worried about the. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you have a bunch of comments. You have a twelve live here watching, so, and um, it was it was good. I'll everybody you. says you're an inspiration. Well, thank you. Um, it was good. I met a lot of cool people, um, uh, you know, here at the hotel, at the village, um, waiting an hour and a half in line to just get in the water. Um, we had a lot of great conversations. <laughs> um, but I, I, I tell you, man, this has been an awesome experience. It's been an amazing journey. Um, I'm not happy, but I, I, I'm happy. I'm just very upset, very mad, um, but I'm happy with what I've been able to accomplish. Um, there was a dozen, or a couple dozen people oh, that more went than. more than grabbed their bikes this morning and went in the opposite direction. They did they not left. choose to start, right. and you started. And I am very, there was a very lot of proud of you. That, like, got in line. And then said, screw this, and they were walking backwards yes. out of the chute. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> the announcer guy, this is your last opportunity um, to turn yeah. around. You would see a few that <laughs> would actually turn did, around. Yeah. And then, um, you know, and the cool thing was, I mean, nobody was prepared. Nobody no. was prepared for this. No. And so um, it, it was just tough. But I, I, I wouldn't trade the journey that I've been on. Uh, for anything, you know, I wish I could have finished. I wish, you know, it, it would have been different um, weather conditions and all that. But uh, I would not have given up on this this journey. You know, uh, the, all the training that I put in, the new lifestyle that I have. You know, this is my new addiction, and <laughs> Angie rolls her eyes because it's a very expensive addiction. Well. <laughs> 
Well, so now we got to go to Ho Chunk so I can win so that I can sign off. Um, make some so that so I, we can make up so, the money. So, make so I can make up some of that money, <laughs> and then that way I can because this was a very expensive swim practice. <laughs> um, uh, and then uh, you know sign up for Waco. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. All right, let's sign off by showing <laughs> right, us those so, new tattoos you so, got there last night. Oh, uh, yeah, so these are my, my tri tats for, for Louis. Because we didn't get to see those. Or no, for, uh, yeah, Louis. Jerry. Jerry. My cousin Jerry. However you want, whoever you are. Um, he said, I don't ever see markers on your body again, so this was my tri tat, 1626. Six. If you had 1 plus 6 plus 2 plus 6 equals 15, which is a derivative of 3, which is I'm the third, and, the, and 15, I'm born on the 15th, so. That's it. So numerology. Sign up. Numerology. So this is Live Bandit. I'm out.